Hey, what's going on everyone in Solano County? Uh, this is Leo coming to you from Fairfield here in Solano County. I just wanted to do a recap in this video in reference to what happened, right? In this action that we had uh, today, January 21st. Um, what happened, what some of the, what was the goal, the purpose, and what were some of the next steps? So. First of all, the purpose or the goal of this, right? The purpose of the goal of this was to bring the community together to listen stories of what is affecting us as a community to get a better understanding that we're not alone, right? Things that maybe happen to you, you're gonna hear from you when you hear from other members in the community that is happening to them or people that they know of, you then get to, you then get to understand that you're not alone that similar situation happens to other people and so coming together working together towards a solution is a much better way to go about that rather than just um complaining um drinking trying to forget or using drugs trying to forget right actually taking steps towards um solution doesn't have to be a big step a small step just showing up is much better than don't doing anything or even worse, right? Um, doing things to try to forget or get away. <clears throat> so that was the purpose. And then um, let me just go over into what happened, right? So we had a gather over of about 250 people. These are some pictures about when the events was starting, right? We had people come in, sit at tables. There were numbers and you're gonna hear why in a little bit then we had the um we had several candidates from Solano county supervision supervisor uh come on to the stage as well as uh mayor of vallejo and the chief of police of vallejo and members of common ground so what happened here at the stage the first section obviously we had some performances from code for group like you can see here from a choir um but then once the event started um members of common ground were telling stories about issues that are actually affecting them affecting them um that had to do with situations like um housing right rent price rent the cost of rent the cost of housing here in california safety and all of this, right, and the candidates and elected officials who are listening to. Um, and then what happened is we had the elected officials come down and go to different tables that they were assigned to, to be part of, to participate, right, in the small group meetings that Common Ground does. Um, what happens in these small group meetings is somebody leaves um, to sort of keep the meeting in check and what happens is everybody goes or we go around we tell stories about what's affecting the community and we keep notes of those stories now these small group meetings are not the time to find solutions they're not a time to be gossiping or um um you know trying to um discuss more in depth about a situation it's just more about sharing the story of what's affecting even the elected officials and candidates had to participate, right? They, they had to tell their own stories, what, 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 is, a, what is affecting them in, in their community. And after we did that, the elected officials and candidates went back to the stage and all of them had a minute to answer and were asked basically two questions, right? Um, what, what, the ex what was the experience? Um, of them going through that process or exercise of a small group meeting and listening to stories. And number two, right, will they compromise to um, continue to to have a meeting, right? Should they get elected with common ground to continue to work in the future? So it was great that uh, to hear their perspective from and their experience of going through that, but also at the same time, it was great to hear right, that they did accept it, all of them to continue to meet with Common Ground should they uh, be elected. Um, and the elections are coming up in March. Um, and so 
not for city level, right? City level, that's a different situation, but um, uh, county level, uh, there are in March. So keep that in mind. So that's all that I wanted to share. Next steps is obviously we have either, we have, we obviously we have to continue to work in reference to um, meeting with these leaders, right, and candidates. And however, in February, early February, in February 4, there's going to be a, a, parent, a leaders meetings from Common Ground in Fairfield. Um, and if for those of you that are interested, let me know. That's going to be in the afternoon around 6.30, more than likely in Holy Spirit, but we'll keep you posted. Um, so if you're interested on attending these uh, leader meters, leaders meter for Common Ground, let me know. Also, uh, if you are in Vallejo, um, the leaders meeting is going to be in February 11. So if you're in, in the Vallejo area and you are interested in getting involved with Common Ground um, or interested in participating as a leader, uh, let, let me know as well. I can connect you with the um, folks in Vallejo. So that's all for today. I hope you had um, this was helpful, right, to understand what was what we're doing um, and what's next and the purpose of it. All right, have a good one. Bye.